Hey guys, welcome back to Stupid Things I Hate, the show where the clue is in the title. Uh, so last week I talked about comedy dramas, this time I thought I'd dive a bit more into TV and go into TV finales. And to understand my hatred for this, I should probably tell you a little bit about my personalities with them. I've always loved TV. You know, it's always been a great passion of mine, along with film, radio, all that, the whole media thing. And one of the things I used to do a lot in my youth, in the sense of... <laughs> this is one of those times where I was really bored with, you know, during summer, during summer breaks at school. And the only thing I could think of doing was watching, t watching TV shows fully. You know, because I was always someone who could never just, you know, leave things alone for a bit. If I had a TV show and I, and I liked it, I would watch it from start to finish. You know, there was one time <laughs> years ago where um, when I discovered Frasier, you know, I think it was like season one of the season threes or something, and I liked it, I liked it a lot. So I thought, okay, I'll go back to season one and watch the whole thing. So, so when I started doing that, and I was slowly going, getting to it, <laughs> I realized that it was a spin-off of another show called Cheers. <laughs> so in my own weird tenacity and stupidity, I went back even further <laughs> to Cheers, watched all of that, and then watched all the Frasier, so I could understand the whole continuity arc. <laughs> that, you know, that, that's how stupid it, it is. Like, I'm, I, it was a sense of like, every, every show's episodes mattered to me. That I wanted to make sure that it was a start and a finish to everything. Which brings me, you know, on to right now to the TV finales. Now, finales to me have always been something that should be like a love letter to fans and to the TV show. You know, in the sense of like when a TV show is going to end, I, you know, like do for some reasons or whatever, and if they get the chance to do a TV finale, like as an end to everything, I always try to think that like that they that if they're good, they're ones that like wrap everything up, but also give like a nice little send off to all the fans who paid tribute to all the years they were there. You know, in the sense of like, try to find a good good one. I remember, I remember. I mean, Cheers had a good good one. Friends was a House was a recent one, which I, House MD, which I realised that, like, when that show ended in that finale, it wrapped things up nicely, but also to the extent where it was a nice little send-off for that character and for fans, you know, which I, I liked, it's, you know, which I like a lot. But the thing I hate about it is the shows that don't. It's the, it's the stupid shows that basically think that what they should do is just be lazy and make another episode or or do things that they think oh this will really spice things up and and that's not what a tv finale should do it should be a nice tribute it should send you know those characters off in the future where i'll never see them again you know not experiment or just be lazy or be stupid like the tv shows that, that i've done it that i hate are like shows like um dexter which i watched for a bit and then when that finale ended i hated it uh the biggest example i can give you is um is how i met your mother now, How I Met Your Mother, I, I loved that show. I think I got onto a bit late, like season four or five, whatever. But, like, I liked it, and as my usual self, I went back to the first season and binge watched the rest until you know, it got current to where it was then. And then, when, yeah, and for the most part, like, I loved it because it was a show that, like, embodied the ideas of being at least stupid, but then also having those serious moments, like I talked about a couple weeks ago. But, um, but when it ended, I. I, I was expecting a lot with that two-hour finale, and I shouldn't in the sense of... You know, because I talked about the idea of being a fan of anything, that you should keep your expectations low. Or at least not expect them to be delivered the way you want them to. Because you're not writing it. I'm, I wasn't going to write the show. Someone else was. But the whole thing I hated was that in, in their two-hour finale, in two hours, they had retrospectively deleted all their progress at anything about the show. I, it was one of those things where I, I watched it t the, that two-hour finale and I hated it. It was so horrible to me because it just looked like that they were lazy, that they, they just completely ignored the whole TV show and the pr process of, of making it. Like th That's one of the things I liked about it was that it was a slow progression of the characters and the show itself. It wasn't just stalemate as many comedies are and get really boring. You know, say that for some, which maybe can be another thing. But like... In two hours, they decided, you know what, let's just forget that and go back to something, another plan we had years ago. And it, and it made me hate it. It made me hate the show. <laughs> yeah, I can't watch How I Met Your Mother anymore because of that. You know, because now that I know how it ends, there's no point for me watching it anymore. And that's what happens with TV finales for me. If I don't like the TV show finale, or I think that, like, 
that it, it doesn't pay respect to those characters or it just basically just ignores fans who, who've watched it for years and they just went, oh, you know, whatever. It ruins it for me. It ruins that show for me because then I know that, like, from start to finish, you didn't commit. It was just a random thing. And I know there are people who argue the case of some TV show finales where, you know, it wasn't to their taste or maybe it's, you know, there was some where I didn't like it but others did. But, like, the, the, it's just annoying the fact that, like, when people do that, when people end something like a TV show, it should be something of, a, of an accomplishment. You know, like a, resign like a resignation letter shouldn't just be like, fuck you, I'm off. It should be like, you know, thank you for all the things you've done for me. Or like, you know, <laughs> on the case of like, you know, thanks for like trying to keep me, keep me there and keep me interested. That's what it should be. But they don't do that. They don't deliver. <laughs> and I hate it when TV shows don't deliver, especially in the end, when they just think, you know what, we'll just do another episode and then that'll be it. Yeah. If you have an opportunity to do a finale, to actually end it on a high, do it on a high. That's the whole point of it. And I hate it when they do that with certain shows that I love because then I can never watch them again. I have that mentality that from a, that a show that starts well has to finish well. That's the whole point. I mean, it's, like I said, the whole point of the series, it's stupid, but I, it's one of those things where I, lo I love TV shows like that. And I hate it when they mess it up. I hate it when they decide to just, you know, go off the hinge or just fall back on an earlier plan because they couldn't think of anything to end it. Like, no, don't fall back on anything. Actually try. You know, if you have an opportunity to end a TV, sh TV show like that, and not a lot of them do, you know. I, I, I've i watched shows I love that just get cancelled like that. And I'm sad, for, but also, like, you know, I'm, ups I'm, I'm upset with the fact that they didn't get a chance. Some shows do get that chance to end things on the high. And they fuck it up. So that that's one of the things I hate I hate about the you know, things like that. Especially with sometimes writers can be amazing. But they can also be a little bit lazy <laughs> in the sense of them thinking that they're never gonna do go to the standards of what fans are. And I know that. But you you should at least try, you know, to at least get as close as you can. And at least just don't experiment or at least don't just try to and things on a well there you go because that's not going to suit anybody you know? it may suit just you but you weren't the only one who, who watched it a lot of people did and i'm not expecting you to just follow fans advice you'll never do that fans can be idiots oh, i know i speak for myself but the sense of like give them at least something give them a, ch a chance to you know to emulate a show that they have that they're going to lose. The idea that like all of that was not for nothing. That you can't just, you know, delete everything and just go out to an idea because you know what, that's easier and that's a finale I could do. It shouldn't. TV finales matter. An ending should matter to the story, you know? And anyway, guys, that's it. That's the other episode of Stupid Things I Hate. Um, next time I'll try and make something else i'll try and come over another topic that i end up hating a lot more this one has been i mean i, I hate it but it's also like it's not to scale like there, there are things where i can go really high in terms of things i hate anyway guys that's it yeah, thank you for watching this video if you did if you got to this far um like and subscribe to this channel if you want to um comment down below if you agree with me or what tv shows that you think didn't end well or shows that did anyway guys that's it thanks for watching bye